Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.10.0, which is Python 3.10 on Microsoft Windows 10. Okay, so let's get started. It's not available for Windows 7 and below operating systems. So let's get started. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. That would be a great help if you haven't already now go ahead and fire up your browser preferred browser i will be using my google chrome you can use anything there now then you go to python.org python.org and then put your cursor on this downloads and then click on this windows remember you can simply download it from here as well but this is the manual process so go ahead and put your cursor on downloads and then go on to windows if you're a mac user you can di directly download it from here now on this page which is downloads for windows you got two python edition the latest version of python 3 and the latest version of python 2 but this video is all about python 3.10 so download this by clicking this link go to the download page and here it was just released a week ago this is october 10th it was released on 4th and there are a lot of new features that you'll get in this windows 3.10 so simply go ahead and scroll down and you'll see a section for files you got 32 bit installer and 64 bit installer which is recommended okay so this is what we are going to do i'll go ahead and download 64 bit python 3.10 you can check your windows your motherboard and your windows installed system type basically by pressing the windows key and pause break button on the keyboard so windows key and pause break and you'll see it says 64 bit operating system 64 bit, bit processor okay so this is why i'm going to download the 64 bit if you have 32 bit install 32 bit download and install 32 -bit. so it's online installer it shouldn't download everything once this package is downloaded locate it and open it so if you're using Chrome browser, you should find it here. Now, before we get started with this installation wizard, there's one most important thing that you need to do, which is basically check this box. So if you do not check this box, your Python will not be executable from command line or any other application. Also, this package includes idle, pip and documentation and few other python packages so make sure this box is checked and then simply go ahead and click on this install now and you will get a usc window say yes user can user account control window simply say yes now this will initialize the installation and shouldn't take long time Okay, after the installation is done, I will go ahead and check the Python from my command line. And I will also try to run idle and check the pip, which is package manager for Python. Okay, so these are test suites, suite that is being installed. okay here we go so there are lots of improvements with this release major new features of 3.10 series compared to 3.9 few duplication duplicate and prepare for the removal of wstr member of our unicode object allow writing union types as x y explicit types type aliases so let's see what this is 
in coming up video requires open ssl 1.1.1 or newer so this is basically installing the pip which is python package manager so let it be installed shouldn't take long time now add, adding to the path and you can see it says setup was successful go ahead and close it now if you press this windows main window you'll see idle okay so it's being launched you will also see module docs which is basically local server and then it will launch it on this location it's available it's going to use your default browser and give you all the documentation locally okay now i'm going to close this server now this is idle that people love. print now you can go ahead and run it okay just by pressing enter you can check it so that's idle that you get with python 3.10 i can also go ahead and check it on my command prompt uppercase v not lowercase and you'll see python 3.10 if I say pip uppercase v, you'll see pip is also installed. If I say pip list, you'll see there are a few packages that are already installed. Now, if I go ahead and quickly write a simple hello world application, I'll go ahead and quickly write a program and sublime. Where is my hello world? Okay, let me create a new file. Save it in my desktop. On my desktop, right? And write this hello world. I want to show you how you can basically run your python script so i'm going to close this one relaunch my command prompt go to text and then write hello so you can see it's working so basically you have to type python and then the name of the script that you have written and it should execute so this is how you download and install Python 3.10 on Windows 10. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.